All right, welcome back to more Resident Evil 4 when we, um, all right, got some good news, got some bad news. The good news is I can finally upload my movies in perfect quality. I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados. That's a mouthful. And the bad news is, uh, unfortunately, in order to do this, it requires a lot, and I mean a lot of space on my hard drive, so therefore I'm going to have to zip through this walkthrough as fast as I possibly can. Uh, I'll be brief on it. Well, everyone knows how to play the game by now, but, you know, there's still some people who are new to this game, so I'll try to point out the important, the, all the basics and stuff like that. Um... Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. A lot of people know this game by now, but spoilers for new people. Going back in here, you'll get smacked in the head by the chief. Boom! And then Ada comes to save you. Ada Wong, the sexy chick from Resident Evil 2. The sexy Asian chick. Um, yes, she's sexy. Uh, I know it's just a video game, but I'm not the one who created these people. You know, I just watch it. You know, The people who create the game are the purpose. I mean, come on. They don't want to make these girls fine. I mean, look at these beautiful legs. Come on, she's fine. Well, she's not as good as Jill and Rebecca, but, you know, she's pretty hot. So, yeah. Woman in red, somehow so familiar. Of course she's familiar, dude. You kissed her in Resident Evil 2. You, come on, of course she's familiar. You kissed her. Anyway, uh, did I get that herb? Yeah, I got the herb. Okay. Moving on, uh, let me refill my gun, because I'm about to fight a couple of chainsaw dudes. I mean, one chainsaw dude, but... Uh, uh, knife. It's seeing a grenade, which I'll be using very shortly. Uh, get the chicken egg. And load up my shotgun because I'm about to fight a chainsaw dude. Uh,. Your first time through, you need to be really, really careful fighting these chainsaw guys since they kill you one hit. But and I told you I'm practically a professional at this, and I'm in a hurry because I can't spend too much time making these videos because the space it takes up on my hard drive. And stay down, motherfucker! Busker mentor. Let me just go ahead and burst him into flames because this guy's getting on my nerves. Oh, damn it. Did I hit him? That was a waste of a grenade. Definitely. That's going to cost me. See, that's why I get for being in a hurry. Oh! Anyway, I can practically fight this guy head on with a handgun, but if you're new, I don't recommend it. Use a shotgun for fuck's sake, because he will cut your head off if you're new. That's all there is to it. Isn't there supposed to be a nest up here with some bullets in it or something like that? Uh, oh, I passed it. Uh, Gokula! Wow, I see you, bitch. I usually kill everything in sight, but as I said, I'm in a hurry, so I'm just going to try to go through this as fast as I possibly can. I mean, I can go through a lot faster, but, you know... There's that kick I told you about. You are invisible doing that kick. Did I get the yeah, I shot already? Uh, let's not waste time or ammo. Let's move on. This is just a basic walkthrough for the people who are new to this game. There's some of you out there. You know, you played Resident Evil 5 before playing this, and now you want to check out the original. So I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm just going to get the, the loot that I didn't get before so I can sell it. Uh, but we have the key now, so we can go to the church where Ashley's been here, but we can't get inside the church until nighttime, which is chapter two. Bosca Pimenta! Let's not waste any time here, so. 
Um, I seen they've caught a little flu here, so if I sniff air now and then, please excuse it. It is winter time. It's pretty cold here. Uh, hear that music? That means there's a merchant nearby, so you can relax anytime you hear that music. So, okay. TMP ammo. You shoot this light. Get a little spindle. Don't run to the flames, or you'll take damage naturally. Going down. Okay. There's another lamp to shoot right there. And so that for ten thousand. So that for two thousand. So that for two thousand. And even more money. It all adds up. I mean. A little money here and there, but it all adds up in the end. So, and here's the merchant. Got, Got something that might in just uh. Got a selection, selection of good things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? Uh, really ain't too much I can do right now, but I'll go ahead and buy this. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What are you selling? Uh, this stuff. Uh, I'll sell it later. I mean, ain't no point in selling right now because, you know, I just sell it all at once and good to Uh, this is where I'm going to shoot the rest of those little blue metal thingies so I can get the free Punisher, but I'm going to sell it right back to him, so. And I feel the sneeze coming up, but no, I'm fine. Okay. Hand grenades. I love that thing. And rifle ammo. Okay. I don't use the rifle till chapter three. There's a couple of crows here I want to kill, but as soon as I shoot one, I ah, stuff. Ah, how the fuck did I miss him? He's right in front of me. That's okay. Ah, yes, ah, I think that means he's over there. Look out behind you, imbecile! Okay. Imbecile! Dead, 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 imbecile! Don't know what the fuck she's saying, but I hear the imbecile at the end, which is basically imbecile. So I guess imbecile in Spanish is a cuss word. Uh, they're calling you a bitch or a bastard or something. I don't know what the hell they're calling you, but it isn't pleasant. <laughs> I'm trying to do this as fast as I possibly can. But at the same time, I do need to stock up on ammo and stuff. Because... I didn't see that there. Uh, there's another one of those blue things. How many have I shot so far? Let's see. That's number seven. I need to shoot three more so I can get the free Punisher. And remember, if you shoot all 15 of them, he'll upgrade it to, you know, level one. Oh, uh, yes, uh, Just stay right there for a minute, please. Dumbass. <laughs> Thank you. You saved me a lot of ammo that way. Okay, there's a nest up here. Shoot it, and you get a another flame grenade. Excellent. There's another blue medallion here. Man, I am so damn flicked. Come on. Shoot it. Alright. That's nine. I need one more for the free Punisher. There's three of them over there. Uh, let's see here. Let me reload this just in case. And uh, reload that too. And there's two more villagers here who want to be killed really badly. Oh shit. Actually, I don't want to get. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Die, bitch. Thank you. Handgun ammo. Where are you gonna drop? Loot. Alright. Uh, this puzzle is really easy. You just do one, two, 
three on that one, then you do one, two, three on that one, then you go back to this one and do it one time, and you solve the puzzle. Simple, yeah? Okay. And you get the green catastrophe, and my nose is running. Give me a second, please. Okay. Uh, I told you I got a flu, so excuse any sniffing I do, whatever. It's flu season, so. Uh, where's the fuck? Oh, okay. Combine this with that, and there's one more piece to sell to it, but you won't get to the end of chapter two, unfortunately. So. If you can wait that long, it's only 2,000 difference. <laughs> and I'm supposed to go to the church right now, but here's a little Easter egg. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Sort, sort of. of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? This game has a few Easter eggs. It's not like Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is nothing but Easter eggs, really. This game has a few of them, but, you know... Like, if you look Ashley up the panties, she'll call you a pervert and shit, so, yeah. Uh, can't get in the church right now, because the door is locked naturally, so I gotta go find the key and they come all the way back to the church, and, you know, which won't happen till the second part of chapter two, so. Hi, Esther! Ah! Oh, she's supposed to fall down. She's supposed to fall down there. Okay, if you won't fall down, I'll shoot you down. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh! Okay. She was supposed to fall down. That's why I was screaming like that. But and that's ten. Now there's a snake in this thing. So snake. Little American salad fever there. Um, they lay eggs and you kill them. Sometimes they lay rare golden eggs. If you get a golden egg, you need to save it for chapter 5 or a tough fight in chapter 4, like Salazar or something like that. And kick him, and let's move on because I don't want to waste any more ammo. Now, what I'm going to do here is there's a shitload of crows here. You see them right there? I'm going to trade this flame grenade for another flash grenade which would be very handy against the giant that you fight here. Let's throw it right there and kill all of them and get all this loot here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I didn't kill all of them, but I kept the important one. The one that dropped the flash grenade. That's the one I really care about. Uh, more ammo. More ammo. And give me some fucking shotgun shells for change, man. Damn. Uh, thought I saw something glowing over here. Uh, yeah. Little spindle there, or ammo, whatever it is. It's a spindle. Uh. There's a merchant down there, but really isn't too much I can do right now, so. Only thing I can do is get the Punisher and sell it, but I'll do that later. Let's move on. I'll get that later, because I'm not going to be doing an upgrade until the next chapter anyway, so. Here's another boulder trap, same as it is on the first level. You dodge it the exact same way. There's no difference except, you know, you, you won't expect another one, so. That's what that trap means. It means heads up. Okay, let's go. Oh, shit. Here comes another boulder. Here we go. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Run, 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 run. Dodge at the end. Okay. Alright, handgun, because there's a little, oh, uh, it's, where's that damn thing? Okay, let me back up here. There you are. Thank you. 2,000 more. It all adds up in the end. Oh, you oh, stop! Ah, shut up, bitch. Thank you. Uh, good way to save ammo there. It really helps on the professional mode when you play it because it takes a lot of hits to kill these bastards in the professional mode. Oh! Motherfucker, I'm a. Boy, I really. Am. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that shit was funny. That was kind of priceless. But I'm low in health, so let me heal. Uh, 
uh Actually I just use this so. Man, give me some fucking shotgun shells, man. Come on. I need them. Whoa, you missed. Whoa! You did too. I won't. Oop. Oh oops, sorry. Okay, moving on. Uh uh, I'm on the wrong side. There's a there's a antique pipe here or something. The dumbass ran right into the. There's like a. There's an empty pipe here somewhere. Oops. There's that kick I told you about. Pull up. Thumb does the imbecile. Look out behind you, imbecile. Ouch. That didn't feel very good. Motherfucker. Mm. Oscar Pimenter. Okay, you guys are asking for a really. Let me shove a shotgun shell up your ass. Let's see. Thank you. And I don't want to use my brown egg just now, but I'll use my green one. Lord Settler, I died. Okay, I don't want to stay here too long. Cause I told you I'm trying to move this along because this movie has already taken up like 5 gigabytes on my hard drive, so. I mean, I'm gonna edit it and lower it, but still, you know. Where you fuck is coming from? Ooh. Boy, do I love that kick. Is that a snake in the river? Yes, it is. Oh, shit. Will you guys leave me alone so I can kill that snake and get my egg? Damn. Thank you. Look out behind you, imbecile! Okay, where's that pipe? I need to get out here because I'm tired of shit. Uh, there it is. Uh, leave me alone, man! Damn! Bastards! Alright, that's it. I'm tired of shit. That's it. Come on. You guys have pitchforks and I have a gun. What can you do to me? A shotgun! Uh, I don't need this anymore. Go to hell. Not then, where were we? Let's see. Shoot that. Get their loot. Alright, who else wants some? And, uh, whoa. Look out for that shit. This is what I came here to get. One more thing I want to check out before I move on. There's like a there's a snake that I haven't you know revealed yet. I'm taking a shot at the uh, golden egg, which I'm probably not gonna get. The golden egg is like really rare. It's in here. Uh oh, wrong one. Okay. Oh shit, how the fuck I run out of handgun bullets? I don't have time to load, so... Yeah, I did. Can somebody please tell me how the hell I just run out of handgun bullets? Oh, never mind. Where are you guys coming from? Pitchfork. Get back in there. Now let me kill this snake and take a shot at the golden egg. Uh brown egg will do. TMP ammo, which I will use in chapter two, gets the giant. And I've had enough of this, so let's get out of here. I got what I came here to get, so let's move, let's move on. Cause I'm wasting ammo as you can see. There's another snake here, but I'm gonna kill this one with the knife. Ah, oh, shut up! Oh, I didn't know he was coming, but once again, that kick saved my ass. This is gonna hurt. Come on, man! That's a headshot, man. You, I know you got like a parasite in you, but you're still human, man. Come on. 
Thank you, that's more like it. Boy, do I love that kick. <laughs> Save you so much ammo. We can use it. Especially like oh, I forgot that was a snake. I forgot. See, I'm busy fighting those fuckers. I forgot that that was a snake. Thank you. Oh, I don't want that shit. I want to go there. Oh, well, anyway, kill every snake you, you encounter for a chance at a golden egg, which is uh, a very rare item. And I ran out of handgun bullets, but fortunately at this point, I won't need none until the next chapter. So, and by then I can... There's another snake guy. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Ah. Uh, oops, excuse me. Sorry about that. That was kind of rude. Okay, uh, oh, that's the way out, but I'm going to go up here first because there's a cutscene here where Leon says shit as he sees his, uh, the dude, one of the guys who drove him up here gets pushed into the water, and then you'll see the big fish come and eat it, but, you know. Shit. Okay, he says shit. Okay, let's move on. Uh, yeah. He said shit. So. I mean, that's that's nothing nowadays to have goddamn Grand Theft Auto and Hitman say motherfucker and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, video games are no longer for kids anymore, folks. But I'm sure you know that by now. But, well, some of them are, but some games are actually rated M for mature. You have to be old to play them. So. Well. They play them anyway, but you know. So. Yellow herbs, uh, you combine them with the uh, green and red herbs to, you know, increase your fertility a little bit. So, uh, and uh, another green herb, and what's in here? Nothing. Now. I'm sure you guys know this by now, but if you don't, you, you might have found this out the hard way by fishing here. Uh, another Easter egg, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an unpleasant Easter egg. If you shoot the water here too many times, that big thing will come out and swallow you whole. Game over. So, And that's the only time this guy killed me. I have never died. Man, get your ass back on that. Oh. I have never died in this boss fight. This is this is this is the only monster in the entire game that has never killed me. I don't know why, but this guy just cannot kill me. You have to hit him with this uh, thing ten times, and then he will drown. Well, he will die, and you have to cut yourself from the rope to start from drowning. And let's skip the cutscene. Let's just move on. One. Oh shit! This is gonna hurt. Ooh. Anytime that happens, go ahead and start mashing the A button or the action button as fast as you can before that guy comes up and, you know, swallows you like a little minnow. So, uh, I don't think I need to heal, but just in case, let me go ahead and do that. So, okay, I hit him one time. Uh, where the fuck are you? Okay. That's. Did I hit him? I think I did. That's two. Alright, it's three. Ah, oh, I missed him. Oh, I got him. Four. <laughs> and now he's going to vanish under the water. You have to find him, but the game is going to tell you exactly where he is. And he is on the left. Show yourself. Come to Papa. I miss. That's five. Okay, hit him five times. You have to hit him, otherwise he'll damage you. Okay, uh, that's six. Four more times, and he's out of here. Come on. That's seven. I think I hit him there. I'm not sure. Shit, that hurt. I think I hit him there. 
I think every time you get hit by the thing, the damage is increased, and it's a lot harder to swim back. But you know, I lost count. I think I hit him eight times. Uh, let's see here. I can't take a chance of getting hit again, so let me just go ahead and use this and increase my vitality a little bit. So. But yeah, this guy's never killed me. I've never died in this fight. Don't know why, but oh, this guy's never killed me. The only monster in the game that, I, that I've not died to. And that was number nine, I believe. So one more and he's out of here. There he is. And, oh, uh, I missed him. He got in the water, so. This is definitely not my kind of fishing. As I said in part two, I, I like fishing. I like bass fishing and brims and crappies and yeah. This should be the last hit. I missed them. There we go. And you have to mash the A button here as fast as you can before that rope drags into the water. And once you pass this, you've passed chapter one. But why didn't you just cut the fucking rope from the beginning instead of doing it? I mean, I mean, come on, that's not logical. <laughs> this concludes chapter one. Stay tuned for chapter two, where we will rescue Ashley.